So um, this is something that uh, tends to be overlooked, I guess, and you know, it's worthwhile to know, I think, you know, especially on camera, um, is that especially when we're talking about acids and bases, we use this term protonation, or these terms like protonation, proton, um, proton transfer, things like that, um, fairly readily as a um, chemistry instructor or whatever, right? But um, it's not really usually understood for a while by the student what that's talking about, because you guys think of a proton as this thing that's inside of the nucleus, okay? Um, so we just got to get that kind of thought straight, okay? So when you have, um, well, when you have a hydrogen atom, right? Let's draw the Lewis structure of hydrogen. So that's a hydrogen atom, okay? Um, remember that a hydrogen atom is composed of, that's its one electron, right? And its mass number, or its mass is one Dalton, or one AMU, right? So um, it must have one nuclear particle, right? either a proton or a neutron. Of course, it's got to have a balanced charge, so that particle must be a proton. Okay, is everybody cool with that? Right, so this thing doesn't have any neutrons. H1, that is, hydrogen one. Okay. Um, so, uh, if you wanted to do like that planetary model of an atom, right, you could say hydrogen looks something like this, with its electron there, its proton there, right? Okay. Um, if we wanted to make the hydrogen ion, right, we would take this electron and remove it. Is everybody okay with that? Right. And what does that leave us with? Well, let's write that back up. So we took that electron and took it off, right? So we're just left with the nucleus of the hydrogen atom. Does that make sense? So here we take that off and we call this H plus, right? But this is really just a proton, okay? Is that okay with everybody? So we were using this other um, uh, uh, symbol for proton earlier. P plus, like that. Stop using that, okay? Because, and start using this, okay? Because this is what you will see from now on when people talk about protons, okay? Protons are actually just hydrogen ions, positively charged hydrogen ions, okay? So when we're talking about acids and bases, let's talk about, like, man, I have a problem today holding on to this. Let's talk about, um, like, the acid that's in vinegar, acetic acid, okay? So the reaction that occurs So this is what acetic acid looks like, okay? Actually, I, shouldn't, I should draw it uh, with C's and H's, since you guys don't know chemical structure yet. So. Sorry, I'm so used to drawing bond line structure. But anyways, that's what acetic acid looks like. Carbon, three hydrogens, carbon, double bonded to an oxygen, oxygen, hydrogen, okay? This hydrogen here, so acetic acid, right, is called acid because it's acidic, okay? Acids are things that, um, well, Bronsted-Lowry acid, which is what we're talking about. We'll talk about Lewis acids later, but um, Bronsted-Lowry acids are things that donate protons, okay, to other things. In fact, when you stick your hand in acid, right, or something like that, and it burns you, it's because there's protons being donated to your finger. That's the reaction that's going on. That's how you know there's a reaction going on, because you're feeling that burn, okay? So, in fact, uh, lactic acid builds up in your muscles, too, when you're, like, working out or whatever, and you feel that, that burn or whatever, you know, when you're, like, running. That's because of the same kind of thing. Anyways, uh, the reaction that occurs here, right, is you could imagine, so anytime you have an acid, you're going to want to think of a base too, okay, because it's an acid-base reaction. 
So in this case, we'll just put water as our base. Or let's not even do that for right now. Let's just think of the acid as breaking apart. Okay? So what you can think of is that the acid here, the combination here, or this whole molecule here, is a combination of two things: a hydrogen ion and everything else. Okay. So we could draw like an equilibrium arrow, like we have been in the past. And we'll just draw what we call the conjugate base of acetic acid. Like that. So what we want to think of is that the electrons that were tied up in this bond here have gone and moved over to there. Okay? And that hydrogen will just say left. Okay, by itself. Okay? So, this whole side, right, is neutrally charged. So, this whole side has to be neutrally charged. Okay? So, if this whole piece of the molecule here is a negative, then that hydrogen must be the hydrogen ion, right? Or a proton, we now call it. Okay? We call it proton. Okay? So, what we do, what we say is that this is. This is acetic acid. It's an acid. Okay. Why? Because it donates a proton to things. Okay. This, remember, is a proton. And when it donates its proton, the thing that's left, this thing here, we call the conjugate base. Okay. And we'll talk about acid-base reactions in a little bit, like when I was trying to put water up there. Um, that's a, kind of an extension of what we're doing there. So are there any questions on this stuff before I kill this video? Why didn't it donate more than the H? Um, that's a good question. Why didn't it donate these ones? It's because only this one is acidic. Okay? So, um, H's or protons that are bonded to what we call heteroatoms, atoms that aren't carbon, okay, are um, acidic, okay, usually acidic if they're um, non metals okay. So, like, if you think about the acids, right, it's like sulfuric acid, why is it acidic? Because its structure. is like this, okay? This hydrogen and this hydrogen are both acidic, okay? Um, so notice it's bonded to what we call a heteroatom. Heteroatoms are any atoms that aren't, any non-metals that aren't carbon, okay? And boron, okay? So boron's a weird one, okay? So watch out for that. Um, silicon, I guess. Um, but, uh, so it's usually oxygen, all of the uh, uh, halogens, like HCl, right? Um, water is weakly acidic, okay? Um, ammonia is very, very, very weakly acidic. You need to have a very strong base to depromate it. So as you go further into the periodic table, you become more, less acidic, I guess I should say. Okay, not as acidic, okay? Um, so once you get to carbon, you can effectively say that, especially in this class, it's not going to be deep protein. Okay? Does that, does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. um, I guess, so we could draw just a, uh, we could think of HCl acidic. But, Another, so another type of acid would be like N H4 plus, right? So it wants, this is the combination of, um, here. Well, let's 
let's do this one. Let's do another video with this one, okay? Um, so, can I kill this video? We'll do another video with that one, and then we'll see if we have more questions. <laughs>